Have you ever watched a movie or read a screenplay and within the first five to 10 minutes you were bored out of your mind? If so, that's because that movie or story didn't have a strong hook. And today we're going to talk about what makes a strong hook and how we can avoid people falling asleep on our movies or stories, at least within the first five or 10 minutes. Let's get into it. The first thing you're going to want to do when you start your screenplay is hook the reader, and that's going to set the rules and the tone and the vibe for your entire story. By definition, hooking the reader is just simply capturing their interest. If you don't have a hook, what you have is pretty much just a basic opening scene, and that's cool, but what you really want to do is grab the reader's attention from the very first opening image, because that's going to be your first impression. Take for example, Touch of Evil in 1958. This is one of my favorite opening sequences. But the very first frame, the very first image that we see is a man setting the timer on a bomb. Right off the bat, I'm hooked. The very next thing we see is that he runs and puts that bomb inside the trunk of a car. And then after that, we see a couple get inside the car and then they pull off. So this is what I mean by hooking the reader. This gives us, this builds suspense. This gives us anticipation on what we can expect to see next or what we think is gonna happen next and so on. What makes it cooler is that this is only about like 45 seconds into the movie. So if you imagine this was a well-written screenplay that I'm reading, of course I'm gonna wanna turn the page and see what happens next. Another one that nailed it for me is Goodfellas. The opening scene, we see the trunk of a car swerving on the highway late at night. Next, we cut to inside the car where we get a glimpse of three guys who look like they've been driving all night. They hear a rattling noise. They think it's a flat tire, so they pull over. Once they get outside the car, they realize that rattling noise is actually coming from the trunk, which we saw in the opening shot. So all three of them gather around the trunk and brace themselves. One guy has a gun, another guy has a knife, the other guy has the keys to open the trunk. They finally open the trunk and what do we see? Some random dude who's wrapped in a bloody blanket, choking on his own blood, gasping for air and pleading for his life. Then without hesitation, Joe Pesci takes his knife and finishes the job. And as soon as he pulls his knife from the victim, Robert De Niro whips out his gun and pumps four bullets into the dude. Boom, the job is done. Finally, the main character, Ray Liotta, looks over and gives both of them an empty look. And he says this famous opening line before closing the trunk. As far back as I could remember, I always wanted to be a gangster. The reason I like this opening hook so much is because from the very first image, Scorsese's telling his story effectively. Even though this opening scene was only a minute and 24 seconds, we learned a whole lot of things about the story. We learned the genre, we got a sense for the mood, we have an idea of what location they're in, we have a good idea of the type of characters we're gonna be looking at, and more importantly, they make the theme crystal clear with that opening line. So hopefully this gave you a better understanding of what a strong story hook can do for your screenplay. Remember, this is your first impression, so you wanna start things off as strong as possible, and you wanna end it in the same way. If you got some value out of this video, then make sure to leave me a like, and also drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on what you think a strong story hook is, and if you have any good examples outside of what I said. It'd be interesting to hear what you guys have to say about story hooks for comedies and dramas, and other genres. And one more thing, if you want to receive more videos and information and tips like this to your inbox, make sure to join my mailing list because I'm going to be sending this type of stuff out a lot more regularly in the future at jcarver.com. All right, guys, that's it. Peace.